What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to chat about something pretty cool. The nitty gritty of my 52 GPU home crypto mining farm and how it's stacking up in 2024. I'll break down the numbers, spill the beans on how much I'm pulling by day, week, month and year. I'll also throw in some laid back predictions for what's coming after the Bitcoin halving and the next crypto run. But first, let's take a few minutes and have a look at what hardware I'm using. First up is my 1660 Ti and Super Rig. This thing is an absolute workhorse. It's been going non-stop since the Ethereum days and has never let me down. These cards fortunately have paid themselves off and then some by this point, which is absolutely excellent. It gives me a ton of freedom to mine whatever I want and not worry too much about ROI on this rig. Currently it is solo mining Radiant. Next is my 10 by 6600 XT rig. This is the latest addition to my farm and is an absolute core pow killer. Currently this is mining Claw AI and is doing absolutely fantastic. I have a full build video on that so make sure you check that out down in the description if you're interested to see how it's performing on Claw AI and other core pow algorithms. It consists, as I said, of 10 total cards. It's a mix of power colors and sapphire pulse and nitros. Absolutely stoked to have built this rig and start stacking some Claw AI and Neur AI, just to name a few. Moving along, we have my 8x3060 Ti rig with a mix of different brands in there. This rig also has mostly paid for itself now as the rig was built early-ish back in the Ethereum mining days when profits were amazing. These were the first of my 30 series cards and I absolutely loved them. It was probably the, my first favorite card I ever had. Now they're not the most efficient on my farm, but they still do a great job on a ton of algorithms and different coins. So lately I've been stacking a ton of Dynex probably over the last six months or so and growing that bag. Coming in at fourth place is the first of my two 3070 rigs. 3070 is known as the king of NVIDIA GPUs in the mining world. It comes up generally with the highest overall ranking time and time again when it comes to efficiency and output on a broad range of different algorithms. This rig recently has been stacking a ton of Alephium and Pyron over the last few months and has been running without a hitch. Moving on to my fifth rig is a mixed rig. This is a nine card rig consisting of a few different cards for different testing purposes. It's a bit of a hodgepodge. We have a couple of 3060s, a 3080, a 4070, and of course, five more 3070s to round it out. Lately, I've been stacking Alephium and also mining nice hash Ironfish and getting paid out in Bitcoin. I'm getting great efficiency numbers with this rig considering the mix of different cards and I love to have that different range of diversity, even if it is more work when it comes to setting up flight sheets. Coming in as my last rig is yet another 3070 rig, of course. As you can tell, I can't get enough of these cards. We have eight more in this rig, bringing the farm total to 21. For the same reasons as previously, the 3070 is an absolute beast on most algorithms, so it gives me the flexibility to pick and choose and mine whatever I want at any given time. With that out of the way, let's move along to the spreadsheet and see what these numbers look like. Here is what everybody came to see, the actual numbers and profitability. So a quick breakdown of how this is working. On this left column here, this is our current totals and profit for the last 31 days. As we're not through a full calendar month in January yet, we have extrapolated these numbers back 31 days, which will give us a sort of rough estimate as and to what we can project forward. On the left here, we have our coins we are mining, which we mentioned previously, and our yields right next to them. To the right of that, we've broken down the average yield per day and also included the coin price as of recording. Our next column over is our electricity cost, which works out to zero. So the way that I'm mining is off my eight kilowatt solar system. 
Over here in Australia, it's summer at the moment, and from about 6.30 in the morning, I'm getting about five to 6,000 watts on my solar panels, and then that stops at around 4.30, 5 p.m., where we start to diminish, you know, drop down to 5,000 watts, 4,000, and I slowly turn my rigs off as I watch the solar go down while I'm at my computer doing a bit of work. Now, for reference, these yield numbers and profits come from an eight hour day which is all that i'm mining i could mine for longer but i just don't see the point i mean there's a slightly um, better profitability if i was to mine for 24 hours but the extra wear on the hardware mining three times as long for a slight return in yield is not worth it in my opinion so over in this blue column up the top, our profit per day per coin. So we won't read out every single number here as you can all see what's going on. We have our totals right down the bottom. Now bear in mind these numbers are all in AUD as I am Australian and you can convert them around to get the exact figures based on the size of my farm and what currency you're using. So as we said, $12.90 per day, $90.30 per week just under $400 per month and around $4,720 per year. Now, before we move on to the potential other columns, let's just slide down the bottom here where I've added a caveat. I have reduced um, my monthly profit as a worst case scenario. As you can see, potential profit with cloudy days, 20% less than current. That hasn't necessarily been the case. It's just so you can see in my situation what I would have been making, you know, for rain days, things like that. Because we have an 8,000 kilowatt solar system and I'm pulling 5,000, 6,000 at most at times, the sellback that we get for the extra 2,000 watts on the panel really negates any loss anyway. So not, not a huge issue there. So these next two columns over to the right, the middle and the far right column, as you can see up the top, we've got potential profit at historical all-time highs. So this is how much money we would be currently making if these coins returned to their previous historical all-time highs with the Bitcoin halving coming up. So as you can see, these numbers greatly appreciate. We've gone from $12.90 a day to $52.60 a day. $368 per week, $1,632 per month, and a whopping $19,274 per year. If I had this size farm mining on Ethereum days, these would be at least the expected numbers as is. So just a reminder of how good Ethereum was when it was around. And then further over to the right, we have our potential profit at a future hypothetical 20% increase on all-time high. If the Bitcoin cycle repeats itself, which we all hope it does, and those all-time highs get broken, then we could be looking at over 23000 a year at current mining revenue. Sorry, I should say, with how much yield we're getting at the moment and the revenue we would get from that. Now, obviously... We're not gonna, this isn't gonna be the case for all of these coins, um, but some of them it will be. There will be coins in here. I believe Dynex will smash all time highs, Alephium, Claw, everything AI related. Pyron and Carlson, I'm hoping that Pyron will just follow with Casper. You know, that's generally the way things work. Casper does well, the forks do well, so we'll cross our fingers on that. Zillic has got a long way to go to get back to all time highs. I feel like there might need to be something big happen there to see these extra 20% increases, but you never know. We can just cross our fingers. This is crypto, it's the wild, wild west out here, so stranger things can and will happen. So that's a good look at, at what we're currently making in future projections. So look, $12.90 a day, not great, not, you know, nothing amazing, but for my situation where my farm is, is literally plug and play, I wake up in the morning before work, flick all my switches on, get home from work, flick all my switches off and make the extra 13-ish dollars a day. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. And with the forecast, you know, future profits, when all these coin prices go up or return to previous all-time highs, that's what's really going to make it worth the while. So glad we've been accumulating in this in this bear market phase and hopefully, hopefully 
we see the uh, the 20% and more future historical all-time highs. Well, there you have it. A complete look at my rigs and the current profitability and future projections leading up to the next Bitcoin halving and the bull run. Let me know down in the comments what you guys are mining and what your current profitability is. I've got a ton more content lined up for you guys to keep you entertained. So if you liked the video, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.